Welcome back to my channel. I had a pretty cool opportunity just this last week at San Diego Comic Con to do an interview at National Geographic's Nerd Night. They do Nerd Nights all over the country, so if you live somewhere where they're doing one, try and check it out. It's definitely pretty awesome. It's essentially a big party full of people who love science and nerdy things and 3D printers <laughs> to get together, get pretty drunk and talk about what they love. So their guest speakers um, this week, well this last week, were Trevor Valley, a couple of engineers who were doing really great work with 3D printers in order to get kids interested in science, and the person we're here to talk about, the ever phenomenal woman who runs Prey Taxidermy, Alice Markham. Uh, National Geographic gave me and the Nerdophiles team a really great opportunity to interview her and she was gracious enough to stick around and hang out with us at the end of the event and answer some questions for me. So let's just get down to the nitty gritty and enjoy the interview. Thanks. So I wanted to know what medium you use for the faux bodies that you put in birds. Yeah, so for bird taxidermy, you can uh, go a couple different ways. Uh, one of the things is wrapped bodies. Wrapped bodies is, um, it's called excelsior, and it really comes down to it's wood wool, right? It's the leftover wood shavings from lumber yards, so it's actually quite green. And then you wrap that with string, and you're kind of adding and shaping to making it what you want. The other thing that you can do, and I do this on larger birds, is polyurethane foam. So just like with mammals, I will make a, um, I'll make a mold out of Bondo or silicone or whatever. You take a mold of the actual carcass of the animal, right? And then you remove that carcass, clean it, if I remember, and then uh, you actually pour in a two-part foam which fizzes up and, and enlarges and all that, and then you have a foam body. I like to wrap, I, I, I do tend to like wrapped bodies though, because wrapped bodies, you're running wires through all these. You're creating this inner wire armature, and with wrapped bodies, it's wrap a string, it's this, it's that. You can be a little bit more flexible and you can decide position later. Very cool. So, what's the best way to get into taxidermy? The best way to get into taxidermy, first off, research it and think about if it's something that you, uh, you know, that you might enjoy. I, I say go on taxidermy.net, go to the forum section on there, and just start looking around at the different techniques that people are using. The other thing would be to, um, you know, looking at the different techniques people are using and all that and what they're doing that can be a very like if you don't know the lingo you don't quite understand it so uh, if you want a really good breakdown of how it's done breakthrough they're called the breakthrough manuals and you can order them i think you go to breakthrough.com and you can order them from there the other thing is um take a class Take a class. There are a lot of like great traveling um, taxidermy teachers you can take a class from. If you live out in the boondocks or something like that, then you're the most in luck. Um, ask it. Just stop by a taxidermy studio. See what's going on. Ask. Taking on someone as an apprentice is a lot of work. I, I've done that myself, and it's a lot of work. It's a big ask. So you know, take a class first talk to people you know I do classes myself in Los Angeles um, but I think taking a class is a good way to start in any in any large city in many small cities there's someone you can take a class from very cool so if you have one what's your favorite type of bird to taxidermy my favorite type of bird to taxidermy well the name of my studio is prey taxidermy I love doing birds of prey because they're so angular and that's one of the things I really mostly get to do for museums and nature centers, which is fine by me. Coming up on August 4th, it's uh, National Owl Awareness Day. So August 4th and 5th, I am descending along with 10 very highly trained students on the Moore Lab of Ornithology, and we're going to create owl taxidermy for them for scientific display. So I think birds of prey are one of my favorite. Also, um, tanagers, 
they're South American, just little beautiful colored jewels. And I get them a lot because unfortunately they die at aviaries a lot. They're just delicate. I mean, birds are just incredibly delicate. And they're, they're my favorite things to work on. And they do die a lot, so I do get to work on them a lot. But um, yeah, so those two things, the toughest of the birds and the most delicate. Cool. What's the strangest thing you've been asked, asked to taxidermy? All right, the strangest thing I've been asked to taxidermy, I don't do a lot of um, what's called road taxidermy, um, just because it's generally not. It's, 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 taxidermy is a medium. That's an art form in of itself. And, uh, but I was asked by a friend of mine who's also an historian, uh, asked me to do a monstrous sea pig. And this is a sea monster through a game of telephone over a couple hundred years, you know, it um, they it kind of became this thing where it was this fish that looked like a pig into being this 60 foot long pigged face fish with eyes of a human and beaver feet. So I kind of created a miniature form of that for him. So uh, if he had not been my friend, I don't know if I would have done it, but uh, I did it and uh, I don't know, I think it turned out pretty well. So I did a monster pick why not awesome uh, what is your favorite lab tool to use and what is it used for oh my favorite lab tool you know I have these things they're oddly you know I use a scalpel most of the time so I use scalpel um, I you know there's a new brand I found called XL which is the sharpest blade in the world which despite being that the TSA didn't notice me getting on with a whole pack of them Thank you very much, TSA. I'm glad they didn't confiscate it. But the thing I use the most is wire cutters. <laughs> Not to skin or anything else. It's just like, oh, I'll use it to cut wire. Oh, I'll use it to get through the ligaments in this peacock. Oh, I'll use it for this. They're, we call them blue nippers. And no matter how many pair I buy, I never have enough of them. And then you just buy them at Home Depot. There's little blue handled nippers. Um, so it's that and, uh, uh, oh, I have discovered the pleasures of a cordless glue gun. It is like every, everybody needs one, a cordless glue gun. Get one. <laughs> so besides the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles, there's a specific museum you'd love to work for. So, uh, yeah, you know what, I'd love to do for, uh, I just, I moved to New York when I was, um, barely 18, and uh, the American Museum of Natural History holds a really strong place in my heart. I'd love to do some work for them, um, you know, and then I, I really would love to, uh, there's a lot of nature centers in California and other states, and they're just fantastic and local people go there and you know some of their collections are in disarray and so beyond just the dream of the American Museum is the dream of improving local nature centers wherever they may lie and I think that's one of the reasons that I teach is I'd love to see more people working on volunteerism to make more accurate displays of nature. So how long does it roughly take to learn taxidermy? You know, I went to school in um, 2009, and uh, I think, you know, the school was a two-week program. I kind of learned, but being having the confidence to do stuff on my own, I think did take me a number of years, you know, a few years at the Natural History Museum. Um, and, but I'm always learning. If you ever stop learning, you're doing something wrong. You're absolutely doing something wrong if you feel like, you know, every piece I work on is a learning experience. Even if I've done that specimen before, like today, I um, I won a first place in the professional category at the world competition. Today I went to the San Diego Zoo and I saw that same plush crested jay, same species. Actually, it was the grandson of the one I did for competition on, crazily enough. Um, and I was like, you know what? I did a really good job. I say I captured this, I captured that. But there was like a couple things. I was like, you know what? I would do this differently. And so I think if I ever stop learning, then I'm not evolving anymore. And I, you just may as well quit whatever you're doing if that's the case. So I hope I'm always learning. And then besides taxidermy, what do you think your dream job after that would be? 
I hope this is my only dream job. <laughs> I really do. I hope this is it. Um, you know, if, 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 if there's anything besides taxidermy, I don't want to know about it. I love it. I love what I do. And I most like, um, I think a lot of taxidermists are, you know, you work alone in your shop and whatever. That's so not my case. I've got fantastic friends here tonight. I've got people to talk to about my passion. My studio is never empty. So as long as I can keep that the case and keep it social and keep it intelligent and keep it um, fun, I nothing else exists for me. Awesome. Thank you so much. For Thank you. Us. It was a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for watching my interview with Alice Markham from Prey Taxidermy. If you'd like to check more about her, please click right around here. I'm going to link her website and I'll do it as well in the description bar for anybody on mobile. If you'd like to check out more from Nerdophiles as well as all of their San Diego Comic Con coverage, go ahead and check right around in here. I'm going to link their YouTube page and then I'll link the website down below. Um, and if you'd like to see more of me, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all of that stuff, share, tag, all those fancy things. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye!